Kendall Jenner broke the internet in her barely there bodycon dress that she wore to a friend's wedding. And it has us all reliving some of the truly cringe moments where the Kardashians stole the show on someone else's big day. Someone cut up your dress. When you're deciding what to wear as a guest to a wedding, there are really only two rules. Don't wear white and don't upstage the bride. Well, I guess someone forgot to mention that second rule to Kendall Jenner. Model reality TV star and now bridesmaid Kendall Jenner wore a strapless aqua dress to the ceremony of friend Lauren Perez before changing into something very different for the reception. A fabulous dress from Minot's SS22 collection, Kendall had no reservation showing off her toned figure in the $1,500 maxi. With diamond-shaped cutouts from collarbone to bikini line, this dress left little to the imagination and left the internet divided on whether or not Kendall was tacky or out of line to wear the piece. While there's no doubt the dress looked incredible on her, the consensus seems to be that this outfit choice could have waited for a different occasion. If nothing else, we know she ended up with all the attention because it's obviously not the bride's outfit the whole world is talking about right now. Kim, the Toast Queen As a friend and loved one of an engaged couple, it's common to be asked to take part in the nuptials in a few different ways. You might be asked to join the wedding party, to contribute something to the day itself, like in Kim Kardashian West's case, a speech. Entertainment exec and friend Simon Huck and his fiance Phil Riportella asked Kim to deliver a rehearsal dinner speech. In a video posted to publicist Tracy Romulus's Instagram, Kim can be heard poking fun at her previous marriages, including her now infamously short union with Chris Humphreys, as well as alluding to her recently announced separation from rapper Kanye West. I uh, haven't really figured out this marriage thing myself, so I don't know what kind of advice you think I'm gonna give to you guys. <laughs> She went on to share a more heartfelt message, saying that she knows real love when she sees it, turning all the laughter into tender oohs and ahs. Courtney and Travis get a room. Kendall isn't the only Car Jenner being judged for her wedding guest behavior these days. Courtney Kardashian and fiance Travis Barker of Blink 182 Infamy have raised the bar for what qualifies as PDA lately, as it seems like they just can't keep their hands off each other and have no shame in showing it. So it was no one's surprise that they ended up doing some major PDA at a less likely venue, a friend's wedding. It seems like love was in the air, although the internet doesn't think that's any excuse. The couple have been getting dragged for the video posted to Instagram of Courtney straddling Travis, and she was, let's say, not still. In photos that the couple posted earlier that night, the two are dressed to the nines and looking very appropriate, with Travis commenting on the post, our turn next. We can't wait for these two to finally tie the knot, even if it's just so they can settle in past the honeymoon phase they're clearly still in. Kim and Paris take a wedding. If you've got it, flaunt it. That's what they say, right? Maybe just not at your longtime friend's wedding. Kim K knows how to show off her assets in just the right way, and the dress she wore to Paris Hilton's wedding was no exception. Wearing a floor-length Rick Owens gown and Balenciaga accessories, Kim was a stunner, Though, people are talking about whether or not the bodice of the dress was wedding appropriate because of how much of Kim it showed off. Still, in photos of Kim in Paris, Kim is helping Paris prepare to walk down the aisle, and the two seem to be so happy to be together on the special day. Needless to say, Kim's outfit might have been one of the more understated looks at this particular celebrity festivity. Kylie the Golden Goddess when pop icons get married, it's natural to want to find a wedding guest dress, but to make it fashion. Kylie took this to heart for sure when she decided on her look for the wedding of Justin and Hailey Bieber. While traditional rules might not apply because the couple had already gotten married a year prior at a courthouse, this was, for all intents and purposes, their real wedding. So when Kylie had us all picking our jaws up off the floor, it stirred the pot a bit, leaving fans in a Twitter frenzy. One user said, If Kylie wore that dress to my wedding, I'd call the police. While there's no doubt Kylie's fit was a bit extra, I mean, come on, she looked like a beautiful bronze statue. There's no denying that she had some eyes on her. I see London, I see France. Courtney and Travis going at it was not the first time this Kardashian managed to make some marital headlines. At a wedding to a friend in Miami, Courtney wore a black Nina Ricci lace dress that didn't cover much at all. 
The ruffles of the dress are designed to help cover some of the body, but it's really only a dress you wear if you're ready to show off a bit. And have really cute intimates. Of course, Court looked incredible in this outfit, and since this was the wedding of a Miami club owner, she wasn't the only one dressed more like she was going to a club than someone's nuptials. Kendall's Non-Date J. Beeb's wedding brought on probably a million different news stories and crushed many young girls' dreams. So we're not surprised that it was actually both Jenner girls that managed to make waves at the event. Kendall has always seemed to be a bit more private compared to her sisters, especially when it comes to her love life. Either because she really wasn't seeing someone or because she wanted to keep her private life, well, private, Kendall brought a friend, Faye Kadra, as her escort for the night. Even though there have been rumors about the two in the past, Kendall's pick of the two of them that evening assured us all, we don't date, he's just my date. But the complicated part is really because of Faye's past. He's a rumored ex of Jordan Woods, former, and now shunned, Car Jenner family friend, as well as a possible past with the blushing bride, Haley. We're happy to see that not everyone associated with Woods has been cut out because Kendall and Faye make a very cute non-couple. Chris's Big Day at this point, it's such a cliché to be a high-maintenance or dramatic mother of the bride. But in momager Kris Jenner's world, can we ever expect anything different? The Car Jenner matriarch has been handling her kids' affairs since what seems like the beginning of time. So she was the obvious choice to head up and somehow pull together Chloe's wedding to Lamar Odom in 2009. The twist was that Chris only had nine days to make the magic happen. With all that pressure, it's no surprise that some of the tension boiled over and landed in a dramatic moment of Chloe hurting her mom's feelings pretty badly. They exchanged some words, all because Chloe felt like Chris was trying to make the day all about her. Luckily, they apologized to each other and ended on a loving note before Chloe walked down the aisle. Kim's neckline takes a dive. Kim's revealing sense of style has already come up once on this list, but looking back to when she and then-husband Kanye West attended close friend David Grutman's wedding, we see that the plunging neckline is a trend throughout Kim's years as a wedding guest. The real headline stealer, though, didn't come with her wedding style so much as it was her wedding photos. No, not the photos of the happy couple. Instead, KKW took to Insta to share some not-safe-for-work pics, only possible when you're already wearing a not-safe-for-work dress. No-show siblings when you're a celebrity family, especially a reality TV family, fans are already so much in your business that guest lists and event attendees can become headlines of their own. But in the Car Jenner case, the simple fact of not showing up to a wedding can even steal the show. To be fair, it was the wedding of their brother, Brody Jenner, which makes the group No Show a little bit more newsworthy. Stepsisters Kim, Chloe, and Courtney were already less likely to attend, but half sisters Kylie and Kendall's absence was more of a shock. Brody told People Magazine that he hadn't even received an RSVP from them. Most notably absent was Caitlyn Jenner, who did at least have the decency to respond, but couldn't get out of a prior work engagement to attend the Jenner nuptials. Which of these show-stopping moments were the most shocking to you? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe for all the best Car Jenner content. Thanks for stopping by The Thing Celebrity.